When people talk about the fastest Linux distro, they often imagine a single winner that magically outperforms everything else. But the reality in 2025 is far more interesting. Speed in Linux is no longer just about boot times or how fast the desktop opens a browser. It is about responsiveness under load, latency, memory efficiency, IU performance gaming, frame times, server throughput, compilation speed, battery life on laptops, and how well the operating system gets out of your way. In 2025, the idea of the fastest Linux distro has evolved into a combination of kernel tuning, minimalism, smart defaults, modern schedulers, and user intent. What makes this topic exciting is that Linux has matured to the point where different distros dominate different definitions of speed, and choosing the fastest one depends on what you actually want to do with your system. At the heart of Linux performance is the kernel, and in 2025, the kernel landscape is more advanced than ever. The Linux kernel now includes years of improvements in the scheduler, memory management, I.O. handling, and power efficiency. Technologies like the EEVDF scheduler improve BTRF's performance, faster EXT for journaling, better NUMA awareness, and continuous CPU scheduler refinement mean that even slow distros today are faster than high-end systems from a decade ago. However, some distributions go further by aggressively tuning these components or stripping away anything that could introduce overhead. Minimalist distributions remain the backbone of speed discussions. Alpine Linux continues to stand out in 2025 as one of the lightest and fastest Linux distributions available. Built on Muzzle Libkey instead of Glibkey and using BusyBox for core utilities, Alpine dramatically reduces system footprint. This approach leads to extremely fast boot times, minimal memory usage, and excellent performance in containerized and server environments. Alpine is often the default base image for Docker containers precisely because of its speed and efficiency. On modern hardware, Alpine can boot in seconds and idle using just a few dozen megabytes of RAM. However, this speed comes at the cost of compatibility and desktop users may find Alpine challenging without additional configuration. Another strong contender in the fastest Linux conversation is Void Linux. Void has gained a loyal following because it avoids system and uses the Runit in its system instead. Run it as simple, fast, and predictable, resulting in extremely quick boot times and responsive service management. Void also uses a rolling release model with a carefully curated package repository that avoids unnecessary bloat. In 2025, Void Linux stands out for users who want speed without sacrificing a general purpose desktop or server experience. Its native XBPS package manager is fast and efficient, and the distro offers both glibdic and muzzle variants, giving users fine-grained control over performance and compatibility. Gen 2 Linux remains legendary in any discussion about fastest Linux distro, and in 2025 that reputation still holds strong. Gen 2's performance advantage comes from its source-based model, where users compile software optimized specifically for their hardware. With modern CPUs supporting advanced instruction sets and multi-core compilation, Gen 2 systems can be finely tuned to squeeze out every bit of performance. Kernel compilation, compiler flags, and USC flags allow elimination of unnecessary features, reducing overhead. On high-end systems, a well-tuned Gen 2 installation feels incredibly responsive and efficient. However, this speed comes at the cost of time and expertise, making Gen 2 more suitable for enthusiasts and professionals who enjoy deep system customization. Arch Linux continues to be a top choice for users seeking a fast, clean, and modern system. Arch's performance advantage lies in its simplicity and rolling release model. By providing the latest kernels, drivers, and software with minimal patching, Arch avoids outdated bottlenecks found in long-term support distributions. In 2025, Arch benefits directly from upstream optimizations and new kernel features almost immediately. Its do-it-yourself installation process ensures users install only what they need, resulting in lean systems with excellent responsiveness. While Arch does not market itself as the fastest distro, real-world benchmarks often place it among the top performers due to minimal background services and cutting-edge software. Cashos deserves special attention in 2025 as it is specifically designed around performance. Based on Arch Linux, Cashos includes highly optimized kernels, custom scheduler tweaks, and performance-focused defaults. It provides kernels compiled with modern CPU up, such as x86.6 or v3 and x866 or v4, which significantly improve performance on newer processors. Cashos targets gamers, power users, and performance enthusiasts who want maximum speed out of the box without manual tuning. 
in gaming benchmarks, desktop, responsiveness, and compilation workloads. Cashos often exceeds standard Arch and Ubuntu-based distributions, making it one of the most compelling answers to the fastest Linux distro question in 2025. When it comes to servers and cloud workloads, Fedora Coros and minimal Fedora server installations are also part of the speed conversation. Fedora's aggressive adoption of new kernel features and modern tooling results in excellent performance for container workloads and virtualization. Fedora is often used as an upstream testing ground for Red Hat Enterprise Linux, meaning it benefits from advanced optimization work done by professional engineers. Fedora's default kernel configuration is tuned for fairness and throughput, and in 2025 it performs exceptionally well under mixed workloads. Debian, while not traditionally associated with speed, deserves recognition for its efficiency, especially in minimal installations. A bare-bones Debian setup with a lightweight window manager or no GUI at all is extremely fast and stable. Debian's conservative approach avoids unnecessary changes, resulting in consistent performance and low overhead. In server environments, Debian continues to be prized for reliability, but when configured minimally, it can rival faster distros in many benchmarks. The desktop environment plays an enormous role in perceived speed, often more than the underlying distro itself. In 2025, lightweight desktops such as LXQT, XFCE, and window managers like i3, Sway, and Openbox remain champions of speed. A distribution running XFCE or a tiling window manager can feel dramatically faster than the same distro running no more KDE Plasma. That said, Modern desktop environments have improved significantly. KDA Plasma in 2025 is leaner and more optimized than ever, offering impressive performance even on modest hardware. GNOME continues to refine its animation and resource management, though it still requires stronger hardware to feel truly fast. Gaming performance has become a critical benchmark for Linux speed in 2025, thanks to Valve's work on Proton, Mesa, and the Steam Deck ecosystem. Linux gaming performance has reached new heights. Distros with newer kernels, optimized schedulers, and updated graphics stacks tend to perform better in gaming scenarios. Cashos, Arch Linux, and Fedora frequently leading gaming benchmarks due to rapid updates and performance patterns. Kernel parameters such as CPU frequency scaling, tickles as kernels, and IO schedulers can make a noticeable difference in frame stability, not just raw frame rates. Boot time is another metric often used when discussing speed. System-based distributions have made massive improvements in parallel startup, often booting in under 10 seconds on SSDs. On the other hand, distros using alternative init systems like Runit or OpenRC can boot even faster due to simplicity. In 2025, a minimal void Linux or Alpine setup can boot in just a few seconds on modern hardware, setting benchmarks that few full-feature distros can match. Battery life and power efficiency are increasingly part of performance discussions, especially for laptops. A fast distro is not just one that runs tasks quickly, but one that does not waste energy. Distros with good power management, modern kernels, and tools like TLP, tuned in power, profiles demand, perform better in real-world mobile usage. Lightweight distros often excel here as fewer background services mean less CPU wake-ups and longer battery life. Containers and microservices have changed how speed is measured on Linux. Alpine Linux dominates container environments due to its tiny size and fast startup times. In orchestration systems like Kubernetes, container startup latency matters, and Alpine-based images often outperform heavier alternatives. For cloud-native workloads, speed is about scaling quickly and using fewer resources, making minimal distributions more valuable than traditional desktop-oriented systems. Another factor often overlooked is file system choice. In 2025, ext4 remains one of the fastest and most reliable file systems for general workloads. XFS excels in large file handling and enterprise workloads. BTRFs has improved significantly in performance and stability, offering snapshots and compression with less overhead than in the past. The fastest Linux distro paired with a poorly chosen file system can feel slower than a well-configured system using the right storage stack. So which Linux distro can truly be called the fastest in 2025? The honest answer is that there is no single winner for every use case for ultralightweight servers, containers, and minimal environments. Alpine Linux remains extremely hard to beat. For desktop users who want speed with flexibility, Void Linux and Arch Linux are top-tier choices. For absolute maximum performance tailored to specific hardware, Gentoo still reigns supreme. For users who want performance out of the box without deep manual tuning, Casio stands out as one of the most optimized Linux distributions available today. What matters most is that in 2025, Linux gives users control, 
Faster hardware alone does not guarantee speed. Intelligent defaults, minimalism, and thoughtful optimization. Do the fastest Linux distro is often the one configured with purpose. Stripped of unnecessary services, paired with a lightweight desktop or no desktop at all, and tuned to the user's workload. Linux's strength has always been choice, and nowhere is that clearer than in the pursuit of performance. In the end, the real revelation of 2025 is not just which Linux distro is the fastest, but how far Linux as a whole has come. What once required extreme expertise and constant tweaking is now accessible out of the box in multiple distributions. Whether you are a gamer, developer, sysadmin, or everyday user, Linux in 2025 offers more speed, control, and efficiency than ever before, and the fastest distro is no longer a niche curiosity but a practical reality waiting to be chosen and shaped by the user.